Different technologies have different advantages. Alkaline is very mature, as we know. It's currently very high manufacturing capacity compared to the others, mm -hmm. of course. Well understood, but it's got its limitations, right, in, in terms of load following to a certain extent and, and ramping. Pen plays really well in, in that regard. You know, it can, it, it can, it can load follow well, um, ramp up and ramp down quite quickly. But, you know, we, we're seeing, certainly for our technology, it's got good load following capabilities as well. Okay, Which so is unusual for solid oxide, right? Yeah, uh, so, so I tend to think of load following, yeah. that there being really kind of three time constants when, when you think about a system. The first one is the electrochemical time constant. So if you've just got a cell, how quickly can you change the, change the load on the cell without causing it a problem, right. without damaging it? And we see our technology, that is super quick, almost yeah. instantaneous. You, you can turn the current on and off, go up and down very, very fast, and there's no impact yeah. to, the, to the cell yeah. whatsoever. Okay. The next time constant is the, the steam control. Okay, so you, the one thing you do need to take care of is you need to make sure there's enough steam available for the current you're inputting into Otherwise it, it consumes in, itself, yeah, right? So you're yeah. gonna break the cell. So yeah. there's a control question there. Right. So if you're trying to ramp up, you, you need to make sure there's enough steam, but there's control strategies around that as well. Finally, the, the slowest time constant is the system heat, right? Our systems are gonna be large, predominantly steel assemblies, sitting up at 500 to 600 seats. If you want a load follow, it doesn't make sense to cool those down in a, in a dwell period. So for solid oxide, maintaining a hot standby yeah. condition to keeping it at that temperature so then you're ready to accept a load cycle yeah. is advantageous. You know, you, yeah. you, you don't want to be thermally cycling them. Not that it's a problem for our technology. I mean, when we've been looking... At, we can do that. It yeah. just takes time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. exactly. But there's no detrimental effect like there is on, on yeah. higher temperature. But sort of the good time. news is we don't actually add much cost in doing that because the insulation around it is a feature you have to engineer anyway. Yeah. Sure. Around, so you get that largely for free uh, if, you, if you engineer a well-insulated module, yeah. your yeah. ability to keep it warm during yeah. that dwell time sure. is easy and it requires a relatively small energy input to, yeah, to, to, to do that. Is yeah, that, is that exactly. correct? Yeah. So even though that's the, the most lagging, you're actually not doing that in the way you engineer your no, system you wouldn't, yeah, because you, you have to engineer that insulation yeah. anyway, right? I, I, exactly, yeah. exactly. And it, and it all depends on your, your specific use case and your specific yeah. load profile. Yeah.